this summer. Hennessy encourages you to shake things up and explore new possibilities in partnership with some of their friends and family. Hennessy is putting their twist on some of your favorite cocktails, including the margarita, the berry mojito. These fresh cocktails will turn your next gathering into something more. Set things off with the Hennessy margarita, a squeeze of fresh lime juice and a bit of agave syrup, topped off with ice and the salsa rim. Mix it, shake it, pour it, and enjoy Hennessy. Hennessy, made for more. Please enjoy Hennessy responsibly, 21 and over only. Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> hey, we're back again because we don't know when to shut up. Yeah. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. To my left, my dog, Bishop B. Hen, out the prairies. How you what, Nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. You know, you know what I'm saying? First and foremost, we wanted to see how the experience was. You know what I'm saying? I know you beefed up security for this event. You know what I'm saying? Do the last episode. <laughs> Beef going a wild word. <laughs> yeah, pause. We still in June. But shout out to all the studs that came to the party. It was like 10 of y'all in there. I bought shots for all of you because we don't discriminate. Everybody matters. Um, I appreciate y'all for leaving the strappies at the crib for this one. I don't know. Maybe y'all took them to the after party at All Stars, but damn, y'all kept it respectful, and we had a good time. One of my best ones. July twenty eighth is already sold out. So, damn. damn. Mixtape Penny, my nigga out here dropping albums out the gate, going platinum. Uh, for sure, I appreciate. It. I love my city, man. Studs and all. <laughs> shout out to the shout out to the guys. <laughs> shout out to the guys. <laughs> The game. <laughs> the game. <laughs> to my right, my dog, Young Nato, Young T. You got I'm, you chill, what? I'm chilling, man. I messed up the first uh, take, so I'm back. <laughs> my fault, yeah. We just having a good time, man. I was wilding, but now nah, I'm chilling, man. These was by the dough, man. We ain't, y'all already know how I'm rocking my dough. They always say, how big is Jeff Teague's door? Mm-hmm. Shit, it's, it's infinity and beyond. <laughs> shout, shout out to the trailer. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Be him. He, he got a uniform. We're going to let it slide today. You know what I'm saying? Well, for I just rocking the Yeezys today. Shout out to the God. Hey, right, man. They on sale, man. Some of them on the Adidas website. That's still crazy to me. I'm trying to stock up as much as I can because I don't think my boy going to put no more shoes out. I mm-hmm. see the pods and all the sweats working and the, the wet tank yeah. tops for $20 a piece. I don't think he's ever going back to commercial reselling unless Oh, that's his tank tops? It's like what? Yes. That is from Kanye West website. Oh. Oh, no, I ain't know that. Yeah, that's... damn! I saw somebody with that motherfucker on this weekend. I'm, I'm sure you have seen plenty, and they, everything on their website is twenty dollars. The pods is twenty. The tank tops, the, the hoodie. I don't see him going back to commercial retail ever again, bro. That's pretty dope, though. It's crazy because he was really always right, regardless of him being crazy. Yeah, he was always right. He's everything fashion wise, he was always right. He Most was, influential oh. artist <clears throat> ever, bro. I've been saying this for years. Bro. Oh, easily. Um, especially in like the black community when it comes to like that type of fashion, streetwear, that type of stuff, bro. Between him and Pharrell, they covered a lot of bases. Yeah. yeah. And it's like to see Pharrell do the Louis shit, you know what I'm saying? R.P. the Virgil, but like it's just dope to see that. Like the Pusha T and the the, the clips reunion at why they doing the Louis Vuitton fashion show is crazy. Shout out to so, some. Speaking of the fashion industry, shout out to my people over at SLS. Shout out to my boy Eric. For the shoelaces, I appreciate you, Nasty. The shoe is on the way for shit show. Okay. Okay. Shout About to, to get shit rocking, bro. Yeah, that's my guy. They really looked out. I was kind of shocked. That. They made me some laces. That was hard. I appreciate that. Shout out to Corporate for my J's. Um, fuck with y'all. Yeah, I always looking out. Oh, yeah. Shit. The threes. Them, them, yeah. them, them tough. Them tough. Now, nah, listen, we was talking about that. That leather insole. Boy, that ain't a summertime shoe. A lot of niggas going to be slipping and sliding. Them threes, boy. It's too damn hot outside. Nah, it's been it's been heating up out here. Nah, for sure. Hey, the best thing about recording on Drive Day is that we get to have all the crazy shit that happens in the NBA in real time. I'm gonna be checking my phone during this episode because I feel like a lot of people about to spaz out. Cause after that, yeah. Mikael Bridges trade from yesterday, I don't know how today gonna go. Nova Knicks. That that's, shit is crazy. That's hard, bro. You get to play with all your homeboys and in, in the, the NBA, NBA bro. bro. And all of y'all are good. Yeah, I ain't mean, like, you know what? They building a the perfect team to beat Boston. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got to think about it. Boston got all them wing perimeter players that made it hell for everybody to guard. Like, they got Derek White, Drew Holiday, mm-hmm. Jayden, uh, Jay, the Tatum, the Jays, whatever you want to call them, Tatum and Jalen. That make it hard to play against when you got everybody who can dribble past shoot. Now the Knicks got that. Yep. Bronson, Stephen Chinso, Bridges, Hart. 
And now if you keep, they ain't gonna be able to keep Hardenstein. They ain't. They gotta trade Julius Randle though. Look, I I ain't even gonna get on my Knicks hate because y'all know what it is. We beat y'all game sitting after crib. Y'all suck. But I feel like they have to trade Julius Randle because you have to keep Isaiah Hardenstein. Yeah, you got to. They gotta figure out a way to get rid of Julius. And I don't know. And they, if they gotta keep bring OG. OG. They gotta bring OG back. That's I the only way it to. works. They, it's the only way it works. They bring OG back because yeah, OG is a must. Yeah, you can bring. You can take. You can get rid of Randle. And O'Shea to Randall, I think he's a good player. But you get rid of him and bring OG, you got a better balance. But the only thing with Randall is he a bona fide scorer. And they didn't have a second bona fide scorer. So you might need him. You know what? I think that's when my clash in the whole thing of who they keep or who stays. Because I feel like Mikael Bridges obviously can get buckets, but he's not a bucket. Mm -mm. He's going to get his 19, but he might. he's a good catch and shoot. Obviously, yeah, he's going to yeah. finish in the paint, run the floor. But is he a better scorer than Julius Randle? I saw no, uh -uh. And, and like you said, they gonna it's gonna be a point where they need that. Mm -hmm. But how much do you need it if you got Jalen playing the way he playing, and then everybody else is low key kind of getting open shots now that everybody healthy? Yeah, but I don't know how long they can sustain it. Like mm. um, Josh Hart, he not really a bucket getter. He a glue guy. He do everything. Devin Chenzo is a knockdown shooter. He can get he can get hot and score for you. But if Jalen having a bad game, who can you throw the ball to? <clears throat> At one point, I thought you could do that with Michael Bridges, but I don't know. Last year, he ain't really show that. But you know, one thing Julius Randle can do is score. I hate it. I hate. I hate the way it looked. But shit, he scored. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Jr. I let y'all go on y'all rant. You feel me? Try, always trying to trade and fire a motherfucker, but they need him. So if you ain't getting, if it don't make sense, keep him, bro. I mean, listen to me. I think that double double machine. I think that you need Isaiah Hardstein more than you need Julius Randle, but I still think, obviously, Julius Randle's a very talented player. On that team, mm -hmm. if you don't get OG, yeah, you're good to go. But if you have to pick between them two, I mean, that's a hell of a decision to make because I think that salary could kind of weigh to keep both of them. But, shit, as much as they gave up for them, is for Bridges is crazy. Um, the yeah. Nets, I poverty franchise, man. The Nets yeah. just be doing shit. Yeah. They just be doing shit. I mean, man. they got a great deal for Michael Bridges. No, for sure. All fucking first round picks. They said the the Knicks set them. I mean, but I ain't mad at the Knicks for doing that. I would definitely do it too. Yeah, Fuck we, them picks. We gonna be good. Our picks ain't gonna matter. And all our guys are young. Yeah, but Michael Young, all them, all four of them. Yeah, all them young. Yeah, they young. They gonna be around for a while. That's on they rebuild shit. They gonna be like how Philly was. Nah, they with boy. the Joel and B shit. Hey, here, when I talk about hey, the no limit takers around that motherfucker, they put for sale <laughs> signs for everybody. Everybody. I'm like, free Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas need to go to the uh, nah, Timberwolves. He, he need to stay right there. No. He going to get his chance to get, you know, be Cam Thomas is Anthony Morrow, bro. I'm telling you. Nah, he nah. want to score at a high level. He just hey, want to get buckets, bro, and hit hoes, bro. <laughs> We're not gonna put that on air. Shout out to Ed, friend of the show. Uh, yeah, A Mo didn't do that, bro. He's a family <laughs> man, bro. A Mo, hey. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you niggas wanna get buckets, bro. Have fun, get buckets. They don't really care about all the bullshit, bro. Cam Thomas don't wanna share buckets with nobody. That's what nah, I'm he saying. He wanna score, he wanna kill, he wanna get paid. Yeah. But he deserves to go be on the cop. Nobody deserves to be on the Nets, bro. Get paid first, bro. Shit, I would have loved to have been on the Nets in my career right now. Why? No pressure. All I gotta do is score. And they gotta, you gotta pay somebody in the NBA. Exactly, like you gotta bro. gotta have a certain amount of money you gotta spend. So I would love for it to be me. <laughs> I would have lost. You get all we the gonna, buckets, bro. You got Yeah. Damn, man. We gotta get better. That's all I would have kept saying. We just gotta keep working, get better. Every exactly. Time. <laughs> I would have been getting better. Hey, Cam, I ain't sure. You gotta work and get better, man. You said fuck it. Yeah, you gotta work and get better, yeah. man. Man, I don't want niggas to live in purgatory, man. He done had a rough couple of years coming to the NBA. Bro, Coach is not playing, bro. Free Life's camp not that bad. I just wanna play, bro. Yes. Buckets, bro. <laughs> That's it. Life's like not paid, that bad. I get the money. Then I can worry about what my record looks there like. There we go. Until I get paid, I just want to be a good player. Niggas saying I can get 20, 30 shots a game, and I'm up, nigga, for 100 or $200 million, I'm staying. Oh, nah. for sure. I don't yeah. want to go to the Boston Celtics. Reggie Miller this thing. I'm cool. Yeah. Hey, I seen uh, Scotty Barnes got that crazy extension, too. Hey, Shout listen. No pressure. Toronto ain't talking about winning a damn thing no time soon. Boy, I be in Toronto having the best time. Six guys. Yeah, on and off the court, bro. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Coolest, boy, I be. They not like us. Mm -mm. Cam got that same luxury in Brooklyn, bro. Yeah. Damn, man. They about to fire sale. I see a lot of, like, Dorian Finney-Smith. I see a lot of they got. They was a team stacked full of role players that could help other teams, but they just kept them together because whatever fucking reason. Um, 
I made sure to see Cam Tom or Cam Johnson could go to a team and definitely help. Um, Dorian Finney Smith could definitely go to a team and help. Your man, Dennis, definitely could go to a team and help. Yeah. Um, he probably want to stay. He, he probably like, damn, they letting everybody go. It's my chance to get some buckets. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, everybody don't be thinking about winning championships. That's just the reality of this shit. No, no, for sure. But also, I would think maybe a vet like him, he probably want to get to a team where he, you know what I'm saying, that's more competitive, bro. He ain't trying to go waste his time and fucking He's trying to get paid. You know, they got to pay somebody. Yes, bro. Let me go out here and average 18 and 7. <laughs> Nigga this nigga was in the NBA. He know what's up. Let me get a two-year, three-year deal for about 65. He, then he, you'll hear him. <laughs> just got to get somewhere where we can win, man. I just... You, I just Play I, the role, nigga. That's how it goes. Shit. That's why everybody thought Donovan was just going to be up and gone by the summer. But nah, if he goes anywhere, it's definitely going to be a signing trade, buddy. Yeah, me, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to sign that deal. Uh, I hate it here after he signed. <laughs> we, I just not going to work after the first year. Watch. Yeah. You see what Paul George is on? Mm-hmm. Um... You want to know what the best thing about being a sports fan is? There's only two days in the entire year that we don't have any games in any sport. So with all that action in the sports world, that just makes about every day game day at DraftKings Sportsbook. If you're new to DraftKings, listen up. You can bet $5 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. All you got to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code CLUB520. That's code Club 520 for new customers. All you got to do is bet $5 for $150 in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Allegedly, Golden State is just like, we'll offer PG a four-year max. And I think that's what the holdup with a lot of different teams is. He wants that fourth year um, in his deal. Obviously, he wants to stay on the West Coast. But that'd be crazy, man, if they wouldn't got him. How would you feel if you Clay Thompson, though? All the work I put in. My career is better than his. I done all this in Golden State, and y'all going to offer him a four-year max? And y'all don't even want to talk to me about what I want? Mm. Now, Granted, Paul George is a better player right now. but I mean, for sure. I think I would love to see um conversation about this a month from now because we get a lot of mixed up because I see Steve Kerr coming out saying, you know, I would love to have him back. But, you know, you hear that jargon, but you how much do you love him because how much you're offering him? Yeah. There's a lot of people who say, look at what Clay is and what is Clay going to be. He's not worth a max. And then you got other people who say, all right, look, you've been hurt. You ain't been the best and they still took care of you. All right, what time is it do we move on? Yeah. I'm a I'm big just, Clay fan, bro. It, one of my favorite players of all time. Go ahead and go ahead and slide, bro. I just wonder what how you feel. It's uh, like how Marcus Smart. I seen on a podcast he was talking about how he felt about them winning the championship. Mm. It's like it's just interesting. I just I think Clay. I think Clay is straight. He might it probably might be in like damn. I did all this for this franchise. Like I'm part of the reason why we won in this bitch too. Yeah, but most it's, it's it's the end, my nigga. He one of my favorite players for sure. I speak high on Clay, but I need P. Yeah, I I'll I'll take Paul George right now. I'm taking yeah, Paul George sure. over Clay Thompson too. Yeah. But I just wonder how you would feel. He like you know y'all a two guard. At one point y'all was the premier two guards. Yeah, and it's like damn y'all went and got him. And it's a little deeper than rap too. Yeah, you know what I mean like him. Oh, I got him seventy or whatever you had. Yeah, he did. I was on the team. But I'm just saying, you know, as a competitor, you probably thinking that, and I know he probably like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back, and they gonna, they gonna get him for it. I, I was just recovering. Man, man go to the Magic. Wasn't they the same draft? Uh, Paul George was. A, let's see. Go to the Paul Magic. Paul George might be a, a year. Uh, Is that the same draft? I thought <laughs> Paul George was younger than uh, Clay Thompson. I thought so too, but I could be wrong. They probably around the same age. 20 cent drive. Clay Thompson and them was like they played in the same shell high, them. They played in the same high school club. Shelling same high kid. school team. Oh my gosh. I'm not answering my questions. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. I mean, it don't matter. I know they're similar. I know they're around the same age. 2010. But yeah, I I could definitely understand why he would feel away. <clears throat> but if I'm Golden State and I got a chance to get Paul George, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta Clay do. Clay Thompson, it. one year younger than. That's what I George. thought. So I'm younger too. <laughs> I'm really hot. <laughs> but he's, he's you better. ain't more. You're not as durable as me though. How Paul George missed just as many games as me. 
I know, but if we, I was out with actual like. So with that being eight. said, if we're the same type of health wise, and I'm better than you, I'm gonna just go with the better player. But I think the health is clearly a concern. I think that if you look at both of those players play, especially last time you seen them, you would expect Paul George to have a lot more of what he's given to contribute than Clay would going forward. Nope, for sure. I agree. I just wonder, you know. You know, I, like you said, I'm sure he feel away, bro. And that's yeah. probably good motivation. I hope he goes to another team. Go to the magic, fuck up. Trying to send Orlando. What, yeah. what my Hawks going to do? I heard we uh, everybody for sale besides uh, Jalen Johnson. The building needs to be for sale. <laughs> the team needs to be for sale. <clears throat> Never have I ever seen a number one pick. Turn down. Like, just be so disinterested in the franchise that has no clue what they look like they're going to do. Um, every time we look on these sites, we see a trade between two of y'all best players, and then they're like, well, everybody's for sale. What direction are they going in? They might as well trade that pick. <clears throat> just rebuilding, bro. It's just time, bro. It just sucks, but it's time. Just rebuild. No, I'm I'm rolling, but like the urgency with shit, bro. It just seemed like how you you have to have some type of a direction, bro, before the draft. I would imagine, especially if you're getting the number one pick. That's where it was. We ain't expect the number one pick. They need you back up there, man. Call me, call me, Landry. I know what to do. But <laughs> now nah, it's just you got to surround. You got to decide if Trey Young is your guy. Mm-hmm. If he's your guy, then you got to go all in on build. And when they try, but you got to go all in on getting some veterans and some guys around him that's going to feel how he going to play. If he ain't your guy, move on. You can get a lot of value from him. Like, you can get Austin Reeves and some guys and some. If it's a certain way you want to play. You can get him. Like, you can get a Donovan Mitchell or a Darius Garland and some other, like, pieces yeah. for him. You probably can get Darius Garland. Who, well, for Trey? Darius Garland and Jared Allen for Trey. Damn. You could. I mean, I think if you decide to trade Trey Young, that you could get definitely value and aspect um draft picks and stuff like that back. But what the fuck are the, do they want? I they don't, don't make it clear. I don't know, but it's just like you gotta get you gotta get a player. Like, I'm always say it was an equal trade, but that Luca not keeping Luca, it just always looked bad. Yeah. Set y'all back. Yeah, but it ain't because Trey Young been a baller. He hooping. It was like an equal trade, but like when you see what Luca doing and how far they franchise is going to the championship and shit, it make you be like, uh, as a Hawks fan, you like, what well, we could have had this shit. And now you thinking about trading Trey Young <coughs> or he opened the trade. It's like, but the pieces around him are different too, though. Not yeah. really though. I mean, they they draft. Uh, I would say the Mavs probably did a little bit more, but yeah, also bro. what. Look, we can go player for player. Them trying to go get Porzingis, well, them going to get Porzingis, and them them going to get Kyrie. It's probably more than what the Hawks have done for Trey. Yeah, I mean, they got yeah. Dejounte, but that didn't seem like they they got Dejounte for Trey's development. They got him more or less as a, if this don't work out, we are gonna rock with him. We have another league guard. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but if you went player for player before they got Kyrie, like when they had Porzingis and Jalen Brunson, Brunson was drafted there. Too shy. Cam Reddish was supposed to be good. DeAndre Hunter supposed to be better. Mm -hmm. Bogey, they gave him all that money because of Milwaukee. He was supposed to be there. Capella had great moments with James Harden. Yeah. He was supposed to do that. Big O, he got drafted there. He He's still a good player, though. But Jalen Johnson, he's coming along. But all these picks and stuff that they had, it was supposed to develop like Golden State. Like something was supposed to click. It just never clicked. So I have a rebuttal to that comment, but I know that you have, you know, aspirations of the Atlanta Hawks office, so I'm going to gratefully decline. Go ahead, say it. That means they don't give a terrible fuck. evaluators in. That means they're fucking up drafts. <laughs> it wasn't Landry, no. That's it, bro. Yeah, it means that, that means <laughs> it. So it brings you back to our original point. How do you don't know what the fuck you want to do as far as who you're going to keep? Hey, and they're getting the I ain't going to say they're terrible at it. I think Atlanta's not a destination for, like, players. It, it, more emphasis on why you are yo yeah like for me like a, if you a real a real like you a real black person you will enjoy Atlanta <laughs> a real but day, if you like a person who wants celebrity and to be like a movie star not a movie star but like a status player you don't get a lot of attention in Atlanta like to us Atlanta is a popular city to like black people you go there you gonna see celebrities blah 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 but in the sports world Atlanta is very yeah, low market. market. Yeah. So 
those top players really don't want to go there. And plus, their wives, their girlfriends, they don't want no nigga living in Atlanta. Just the truth. I remember we was trying to uh, get Rudy Gay, I think it was. He was like, nah, nigga, yeah. I'm going to do this. Damn. Uh, 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 I'm like, that's, that's real tough. conversation you know in the crib. Nah, for real. Job location matters, bro. That's a real deal breaker for a lot of people. Yeah, so it was just tough. So, I mean, it's going to I mean, it's gonna, they can build a good team. I mean, we did it before. It's right. just you got to get the right pieces. For sure. I just, I'm like, damn, man, it's, it's draft day. We don't know what direction they want to go in. They don't know if they want to move Trey Young. Because I'm just like, I can imagine that would take precedence of what you got going on. But we'll see. Um, yo, the Bulls. Gave up Caruso, you know what I'm saying, and got back Josh Giddy, and immediately they put that uh, the day like us the tags over the United Center, and I was fucking crying, bro. Damn. Well, that's a good trade though. It actually is because you don't know what line. <coughs> he's actually a poor man's Lonzo Ball. Yeah, because he can't shoot, but they do very similar shit. Good size, pause, like same. Yeah, he's a- and shit can make good plays, but he just can't shoot as good as Lonzo. I like Caruso. Um, I like him on the Thunder. Love. I, oh, I he like that. Fire, bro. Bro. That was I'm, a great trade. That's trick. crazy. That's why I'm kind of like, damn, y'all low-key got fleeced. I could have got pigs. I mean, getting Giddy back, like I said, they wanted a, a playmaker, you yeah. know what I'm saying, with Young Promise, and obviously he was going to have to come off the bench in the Thunder, and yeah. his lack of shooting was the reason why he couldn't play in certain yeah. situations. So they came up. They got a fucking great defender who can knock that bitch down and play well with the lead guard, too. Yeah, and he played like them, though. Like, he can switch one through four. They play wings, really. They don't really play bigs. Yeah, he was a perfect – he's a perfect player for that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be crazy, man. Um, Malik Munn got that bread, too. Shout out to that. Uh, He got – he low-key got low ball. I think that was the max he could get, though. That was the max. I thought he could get a little bit more than that. Uh, he got the max from uh, Sacramento. Oh, well, I stay crazy. Shout yeah, out to I him. think that's the most he could get from them or whatever. My favorite, like, I, you know what it is? I hate UK. But my one of my favorite duos, bro, I love Malik Monk. Mm-hmm. And I love De'Aaron Fox, bro. Them is two, like, I'm off, I feel like they two cold niggas. And I love the fact that they get to play together. I wonder if Sacramento going to extend De'Aaron Fox. Um, I think that he's definitely kind of weighing his options. I wonder what that's like. Nah, he gonna get an extension. I mean, you really can't find guards at, at his caliber like that. Like, especially that young, that fast. I don't like, think it's on the team. I think it's on his end. I think he's he went his options, but he gonna yeah. you know he gonna get a max. Yeah, I mean, he's a top twelve guard, and you ain't gonna turn down that money. I love when people do that. They're just trying to put a little pressure on the franchise. Like, I'm gonna weigh my options. It's like, all right, when we offer you this five year max, stop playing. Oh, like, you're not about to turn that down. <laughs> not when it's your team. Yeah, and you getting three hundred and whatever million he about to get. <laughs> That's that's just talk. Like Donovan Mitchell, that that's talk. Baby. I don't Donovan know, trade. bro. Donovan might slide. I mean, I I wouldn't be mean. He getting Adidas money and all that. Yeah, so Donovan, it, nah, it's different. Nah, I ain't. Shit. I know what you would do for sure. If I'm a slime, <laughs> you sign on the dotted line for shit show with the blood. <laughs> Damn, nigga, cut my motherfucking <laughs> arm and take that. <laughs> y'all gonna get, y'all get all of me, bro. <laughs> DNA on the on the sheet. <laughs> See? That's a filthy ass sheet. <laughs> you shouldn't have to worry about when you buy your tickets to your next big event. Game time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With great last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and the best price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code CLUB520 for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Hey, man, we, <laughs> we've been away for a second, so a lot of random talkers came out, and we about to run through these shits. Hey, man, uh, Matthew Stafford wife yeah, on the podcast yeah. about her, you know what I'm saying? Hooping on his backup is crazy. Yeah, she out of pocket. Matthew Stafford's wife. That's that's how our conversation came up. Uh, for you for wanna, Patreon. You want to be a swinger. Matthew Stafford's no, wife. I don't. Because I would. Y'all, would, y'all, would, y'all fuck with, would y'all fuck with her? Is the question. Like, would you fuck with her? Like, fuck back with her. Like, you know, the backup. Really your enemy. When you a backup, yeah. like. You that's really right. don't fuck with your backup like that. Like, y'all cool, but... 
She fucking your ops. Yeah, yeah, y'all really like you trying to take my job. So like, you. Like, I didn't know it was like that, bro. She went into detail. She was just like, yeah, you know, they stayed in the same place, and he he see my car, and one time he just came out to my car and waited on me till I, till I left. Say so he's not good for you. I am. Dirty Mackin. We got a couple niggas girl. like that. <laughs> but we, That's for Patreon too. That, that triggered would, me. Would y'all, would y'all go back? Would y'all like? Fuck no! <laughs> Hell no! Ain't no way. It ain't that much love. Nah, not on my end. I go to practice and I look at him. Don't ever talk to me again. But I mean, niggas, niggas are sharing stories now, boy. These the all NFL, NBA niggas or something else. I nah, guess his wife, boy, I be niggas. shit. Y'all got hoes that bitch. Why the fuck? <laughs> So she <laughs> came out with a pod. Now are they they're divorced? Mm-mm. No, they got like four. She was a guest on the podcast, and she got a chance to get her shit off, and told the world something. I'm sure he did not want other people to know, because I'm sure the people on the team knew. Yeah. But that's been so far removed. He didn't need a reminder about that. They got four kids now. White people are a lot more patient than black people, though. So that's they probably talked about it. It was like you know what, go ahead. He probably it's your time to shine. Man, we ain't never heard from Matthew Stafford. That no, nigga I'm don't just, even talk. Listen, you got Joe Smith situation, and then you got Matthew Stafford situation. Which one are you taking? Uh, that's I'm not being either one of them. <laughs> I, I quit. <laughs> yeah, I it's like to me, Matthew Stafford's life is just still probably the same. He don't really care. He's not really gonna go through what Joe Smith went through mentally. They had Joe Smith crying on the radio, bro, and bro. they didn't. Joe Smith didn't. She wasn't doing what. You know what I'm saying? I think it was more financial with Joe Smith. Like, he was more hurt about it. He don't got, like, you know, he wants to make all these money in, like. No, I understood that, like, but I'm talking about the situation, though. I don't like, think that he plays really a part. cared about her being on OnlyFans. He probably didn't give a fuck. No, when she was on Cam and Mace, that's when I was, I was like, that's out of pocket. Yeah, he don't, give, he, he yeah, don't like her. That was a part of the show. I'm just saying, black people react to stuff different than white people. Like, Matthew Stafford, wife, this nigga is still with her, and his backup quarterback was slam jamming her. He got in college, too. huh? He got in trouble. The backup quarterback. Yeah, he was dating his current wife then, and now they all in the mix. Oh, so she fucked up his household too. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, defund her. Yeah. Ah, she out of That's pocket. Crazy. See what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he got a black wife too, so you know he, gets he got a black wife. Oh, he. I like him. <laughs> That's why he ain't like it. All right, don't get too high. <laughs> you don't deserve him. He's a gunslinger. So you know what I'm saying, boy? This Matthew is Stafford's like, they're back. Hey, you know what? He doesn't even like women like you. He likes black girls. <laughs> his current girl's black. Wow. We ain't gonna do a baddie like so that. His wife was really the side joint. Yeah. <laughs> Two times. Yeah. Mac wife was the side joint to the dude. Dude was really just sniping on the low. Okay. Yeah. He said, Oh, you go you go get these touchdowns? I'm gonna get these bitches. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Oh, you don't want me to play? I got something for you. That's crazy. Get well soon, Matt. <laughs> His wife was going together. to Spelman. Dude, current wife was going to Spelman while he was at Georgia. Damn. I just made that up. But <laughs> she blacked nah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. So he was slamming the analogy. while he was at Georgia and his wife then oh damn. Now he about to get divorced. Ain't that some shit? Damn. Told you, black black situation is totally different. White people are way more patient. Look at Matt and them over there working it out. <laughs> Probably on their way to Bahamas with the fam. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga over here trying to figure shit out. <laughs> you a backup quarterback? You got a black bitch? Oh. Is he still in the league? <laughs> yeah, that nigga think, over there struggling. I, think, I think he has a job. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's playing the NFL. That's even worse. <laughs> your life is in shambles. Now your now your lady finna leave you, <laughs> and Maddie and them on their way to the oh, bottom. Fuck a podcast. This is all alleged. What me and is talking about y'all? No, I'm y'all saying like is I'm going. I want y'all telling me this this man that's the backup quarterback is married to a black woman. Yes. This black woman is pissed right now. We don't know that for sure. We oh, know that he's in trouble. We know. Is oh. he in trouble with the law or his lady? No, no, he ain't do nothing. I'm saying, no, no. Get it I'm saying he has a black wife. And the lady, Stafford's wife, uh-huh. apologized that she caused so much hassle. Say less. Life. There you go and then. So the nigga is in trouble with his but black I, lady. About his job and everything, you were going too fast. I didn't. I don't know. No, I'm saying that black woman. If they're married, 
we're talking about alimony and all the other stuff that comes behind divorce. Matthew Stafford got his household to calm down, calm the storm. I know I'm dating a motherfucker, filthy animal, a porn hub legend. I had put these four babies in her. Let's just go on a vacation. Let's let's clear our minds. Motherfuckers love going to the beach and clearing their minds. So this nigga over here though, he got a love and hip hop situation. <laughs> He getting side out like Matthew that at the Stafford won, year. bro. Matthew Staffy won, bro. I don't, that's not a win I won, but I know. But I'm just telling y'all, it's like, bro. At the end, I won, bro. I kept my girl. She's filthy. That shit. That's her first time getting caught. She probably got hella stories. <laughs> also, she was a cheerleader too. Say less. <laughs> Say less. They ain't shit. So <laughs> he knew ahead of time. That's like a nigga, if you dating a girl to do, like, she had a 12-year run in the porn world, and you decide to marry her. No, if she has drastically different. If she has, <laughs> if if she has flash. Year, that's, that's like. 12 years? That's like 300. That's like your NBA contract. <laughs> Basically, your career. So if she had an NBA career, you know, she played for the Hawks, the Celtics, the Bucks. Yeah, but and she, she was got, in the porn for 12 years? <laughs> she got she played for the Kings, the she Pistons. She got 400. Word for damage done, bro. <laughs> That's fine, bro. That's fine. <laughs> With the technology together, she's a whole new AI nigga now. She is relieved, bro. She is relived right now. Nah, yeah. bro. She's so dead. Maddie found him one of them, cuffed her. You know, my fucker had relapse all the time, bro. My uncle was cleaned off the pipe, nigga, for a few years. He hit it again last week. <laughs> man, come on, man. <laughs> He's still a good nigga, bro. <laughs> Give us some look, man. Oh, man. man. He <laughs> He's out of pocket. Hey man, so I was watching uh, some of the Olympic stuff they've been talking about, and they was going through ranking teams. Who do y'all feel like is the best Olympic team? All time, all time, Dream Team. You fucking with Dream Team? Yeah. Which Olympic team you rocking with? The LeBron and them. Which one? The Redeem. The Redeem team. That's what Kobe know. Yeah. Yeah. I damn near fuck with 2012, but I feel like that '96 team could fuck with that Dream Team. Hell no. That team with Shaq and them, bro, I feel like they could, I think that they could fuck Who with Who was them, on bro. that team, 96? Shaq. I'm about to go ahead and pull the squad Penny up. was on there. Uh-huh. That's when y'all lost it right there. Filthy Pip. Pip <laughs> was on there. In 96. That 96. Them jerseys were so raw. I had yeah. one. Oh, Healy. my God. I had the Penny jersey. Bro. Yeah, Barkley, Penny, uh, Grant Hill, Carmelo, Richard Miller. Christmas. Oh, Hell no. Nah. Shaq. Gary Payton, Scotty. Uh, no way, uh, bro. Uh, hey, bro. Stockton, David Robinson. Oh, DJ Tweaker. Ain't no I was, way. I was already on the dream team. Yeah. So who the fuck guard Mike? I mean, nobody in the world is going to guard Mike. That's, That's where you cooked. lost me. <laughs> Pip. That's where you got lost. It's dead, bro. It's, it's quiet. Up, yeah. But if I had to pick the best one that would beat everybody, damn it, that redeemed team, bro. I was watching a doc on Netflix, and I was just like. All right, the redeemed team. Right, let's do the matchups. Brian, Melo, Kobe. Uh, Wait, let's start at point guard. So Magic, at, Magic, right? Magic be whoever was at the point guard. No, not in ninety two. No. He wasn't. <laughs> she, he was still acting. Nah, bro. The he he like <laughs> ah, bro. Ninety two. <laughs> and Magic is probably the best PG of all time. But right. ninety two, I'm asleep. I'm taking Magic, bro. Magic, magic over. Nah, bro. Who was it? This CP? is this is Magic when he had that shit. No. <laughs> 83, 84 magic for sure. He was still hooping. The Them niggas, too, him and Bird on that team, bro. They was on their last leg. They was chilling. So let's That's... match. Let's match them up. All right. So you going Magic? Who was the? Who no, was we the got. Team? We doing this to them like in their prime. Let's just do it against. Ninety two versus ninety six teams. Ninety two versus who's, uh, yeah. Redeem team. Let's do it in their prime. Everybody in ninety two versus twelve. Okay, cool. Yeah, everybody in their prime. Ninety two versus twelve. Ninety two versus oh eight. Oh eight. I'm sorry. Everybody in their prime. Everybody in their prime is. Uh, let's let's go. Oh, it's dead then. Yeah, Y'all lose. Prime. I got Magic at the one. He beating whoever was at the one. We got to put LeBron at the one then. Okay, okay. LeBron and Magic. Okay. That's it. I got Bron. There you go. Not the two. You got MJ and don't matter. Kobe. MJ. Okay. For sure. <laughs> at the three. You three. Got Pip. Pip. And then. It was K. Who was it? KD? Who was it? Nah. In 08. I mean, Bron was there in the three. But it in was Melo? Yeah. Yeah. Melo? Give me Pip. Sleep. Give me pit. Wait, I'm sleep. Give me pit. 
Who was at the four? Oh, Barkley. Barkley was definitely at the four. Let me get my phone, cause we, we man, give me bar, man, they got well, booze. Well, oh, we got, it's Christmas. We got, hold on, let me oh, pull yeah, gotta, we gotta be faster on this shit. It's, I got you right here. Christmas. I got you right here. Yeah, nah. So point, you do the, you do the, you do the ninety two team. Bro. I got both of them. Tell us how. Yeah, it's Christmas, bro. The dream team you got Magic Johnson, John Stockton. Redeem team had Jason Kidd, Chris Paul, mm. Darren Williams. At point. So you taking Magic John Stockton or you taking Chris Paul, Darren Williams? Okay. Y'all, we, we got to adjust to the team. We can't. LeBron is gonna have to guard him, so they naturally will have I'm to match up. Right, who do y'all have at point guard? LeBron. For them to match up, LeBron would have to guard Magic, so he, okay. they would both would be playing one basically. So shooting guard, you got Michael Jordan and Kobe. That's and Kobe. That's Warsh. All right. So small forward, you got Scotty going against Melo. Melo. Melo okay. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. Now, power four, you got Carl Malone or Barkley. You got Barkley first? No. Yeah. It don't matter. Either one. Okay. They're not like us. From the, you got Barkley. Who's from the other team? The team team, LeBron James or Carlos Boozer. You already got LeBron playing the one. So, Boozer playing the four is kind of disgusting. Boozer was cold. And that's not but disrespect because Boozer's cold. But no, no, no. Carl Malone against Barkley, that's and Barkley. Oh, but, but he has nothing got, for Charles Barkley. You also bro. got Chris Bosh and Dwight Howard. On the redeem team, but oh yeah, well, who CB. Are well, who are fives on uh, CB? Uh, Patrick you got Patrick Ewing, Ewing. Dave Robinson. Dave I'm Dave. not taking Come none on. of our bigs over there. So. Never, never, never. It's over with. It's over. Dream team, bro. Larry Legend ain't even. We ain't even mentioned Larry Legend. D Wade coming off the bench, give me he Larry. And they prom changed lots of this conversation though. And yeah. the context of when they played this teams was different. But though. Chris Bosh was never better than none of them. Never, never, bro. Nick Carlos Boozer, never. Never. Now, that's I didn't realize that power forward situation is so shaky. I mean, only reason because you got to counteract Brown with fucking magic because LeBron is really the forward. Now, Dwight, Dwight Howard can argue. Dwight would have held shit down, though. I don't think he's better than... I'm going to take Dwight better than Pat Ewing. Oh, for sure. I don't think he's better than David Robinson. Mm, nah, but know, he's definitely better than Pat Robinson. Ewing. Nah, he ain't better than David Robinson. But, they only got a problem at the four. That's a big problem. The one, too. Because Charles Barkley was, that was MV, going to see MVP Chuck. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a problem. Yeah. Charles Blues ain't got shit for that. And that's no disrespect because he could hoop, but. Yeah, they put Kobe in the game? Yeah, he, he but it was too. just, he, he got to deal with MJ, bro. And that's. That's a wash. That's, that's Christmas. Yeah, put, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm taking the dream team, bro. I'm fucking with the redeem team. Darren Williams was nasty. He was cold. One of my favorite niggas players. might be too small though. Too little. Yeah, that's... And Pat and Pip can guard any of them. Yeah, Pip one through fifty. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. One through fifty. The whole Mike squad. Mike can guard any of them. Yeah, Mike can guard the whole team. Damn, that's crazy. That's the only reason why I'm picking though. Talent wise, I'm gonna have to say the redeem. But I've just straight. If you putting. All five of them on the court at the same time. And they prime changes Darren, everything. The only reason why I have a problem with that is Darren Williams and them can't play in the game. Yeah, Chris mm -hmm. Paul and I get no ticket in that game. Mm -mm. He can't play at all. Too little. Yeah, yeah he can't like he, play at all. He's going straight to the post. Now, he, he would create advantages as well, but it would just be Magic Johnson. I, I don't see how, though. Pushing the ball. He's faster than Magic Johnson, bro. I get that, He bro. can get past but them. But Mike going to be guarding the point guard. And Pitt. Yeah, they're going to be guarding the guards. It's over with, bro. I just want y'all to know that they have the 2012 Olympic team, ranked what? number two. KD and Stefano? Yeah. Who they on that team? Oh, that's the team then. Who, who, in 2018, who? it's number three. No, 12. Kobe played on that team, right? Yeah, 12. In 2012, yes. Yeah, I swear to God, that's the team I'm James, taking over to. Uh, what's her name? Yes, that's, no, Katie, that's Brian, the team Stephen. I was thinking. I'm like. Who are the bigs on that team? Tyson Chandler and. Uh, oh, my mama. That's the team I'm taking. So that is the team I'm taking over there. Yes. The 12 team. I'm like, Carlos Boozer? <laughs> the fuck? Shout out to Carlos that, Boozer that in uh, Utah, though. You was a cold nigga, bro. You know I know. At least pick a roll with him and D. Will. 2012 team is wiping their ass. That's who I was thinking about. Who was the big in 2012? Uh, Anthony Davis. Chris. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the real team. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think the Dream Team got shit for LeBron. Even though AD didn't play, that was his. But if we taking niggas in their prom, for they, sure. I mean, that big was... Tyson Chandler. I mean, I ain't saying I'm he saying Anthony Davis. Anything. That was his rookie. Yeah, rookie he was going year. to the league then, bro. He wasn't doing shit. He was on the scripture. That's when they played Spain, right? Yeah. Nah, bro. That team elite. 
That's when Melo went crazy. But they barely beat Spain. Y'all think y'all gonna beat the Dream Team? Yeah, bro. Man, fuck no. So at point they got Pat Ewan was on powder, bro. Chris Paul versus Magic Johnson is what they got it lined up as. Sweet. <laughs> they got Kobe versus Mike, LeBron versus Scotty, Kevin Kevin Durant versus Barkley. <laughs> Deletes. <laughs> and Dwight Howard versus Patrick. Deletes. <laughs> Ass whooping. And hey, Chris Ball has to get something out of that game. That's not just nah, bro. I'm still Chris Steph is on the team, right? Nah, I'm still taking bro. the dream Hell team. Nah, Jack. Or James Harden, too. Chuck is a dog, bro. Oh, exactly. That's it. Chuck is elite, but I don't think he want KD smoke. Shit. Uh, that don't even make sense. Westbrook was on that team, too. Man, come on. I knew I wasn't tripping. I, when y'all said Boozer, that threw me all the way off. I had my years fucked up. That team <laughs> is light years better. Then the redeem team. Then the, then the Jack for sure the redeem the redeem team, but the ninety two team, the, the original dream team is ranked number one. I fuck with the ninety six team for sure, too. bro. They the best. <laughs> Look team. at that picture of Brian. My nigga had Cloud on their last leg, bro. <laughs> Cloud, that's, that's bad name, Larry Bird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My boy was hooping and going to lay on his stomach. Oh god, like he a was. toddler. <laughs> oh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga was having tummy time as an adult. See his old ass home, bro. Nigga couldn't walk. Oh, 2012, man. We just talked about that shit for no reason. Yeah, the 2012 team is way better, bro. Because KD, we tweaking. And Jimmy Harden, y'all niggas crazy. Speaking of KD, how y'all feel about the Suns uh, moving KD? I mean, that shit. Go f- that ain't going to happen. I mean, go wherever you want to go, bro. You KD, bro. They already got smut on your name for shipping teams just because. You went to the Golden State Warriors after they beat your ass. You went to go hit a couple of chips and you didn't give a fuck. So you can go anywhere. <laughs> it's a nigga in the NBA right here that was pissed. You didn't give a I fuck about mad, him either. I, mad. I ain't really mad about him doing that. I'm just saying, you was like, damn, these niggas is cheating. Like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, no, they was too good. They yeah, was too good. so niggas is like, he don't give a fuck. Nah, I ain't give a fuck about that shit, though. Yeah. I only care when LeBron did it. Damn. That was a bigger moment to you? Yeah. It was like, damn, Brian. <laughs> Brian really fucked the league up. And I yeah, he it. about to go play with his homeboys. Like, when KD did it, I was like, whatever. Like, yeah, KD could go anywhere, bro. I feel like the Suns realize that they have no assets, and they don't know what to do with their team, and I feel like he's probably the only piece that they could move. Because, yeah. obviously, we know Brad ain't going nowhere, especially no trade clause. And you definitely can't trade Devin Booker. Mm-mm. But if you get, if you trade KD to where Houston, I don't believe in whatever I hear about the Houston Rockets. I mean, them doing the pick swaps was cool, but what are y'all trying to do? Because no matter what moves y'all make, y'all still don't put yourselves in the top four, mm-hmm. like or really top six. Even if y'all just get KD with that roster, y'all gonna have to do a whole lot, and I don't see them doing that. But who would they trade? They're gonna have to trade Jabari Smith. They was uh they would have to trade them or everybody, bro. Yeah, uh, Jalen Green. Nah, hell no. Nah. Jay yeah. Green stay. Nah, they ain't, who, they ain't got no more. Baby Joker. I said if he if it was for yeah. Katie, he would have to get moving that. Tra- like, come yeah. on, bro. Like, uh, I don't believe in nothing that they doing that's gonna make them a better team in the next year or so, man. Just nah. just rebuild, bro, the right way. Y'all pay Fred Van Fleet a whole lot of money. Come on, man. Y'all Freddie gotta- Freddie V deserved it. No, I'll fuck with Fred Van Fleet. Get your fucking bag. Every he, he, time, he, but... He deserved it. I mean, I'm saying, they're paying your point guard that much cap, bro. We didn't just mention his name at all. That's you got to keep Jalen Green. Just keep rebuilding, yeah. But I don't think... I don't know, man. I don't okay, know. They need to go I, to... Uh, Houston ain't really an option for me. That's what I'm saying. For him, he deserves to be at a team that's contending, bro, if KD's going to get moved somewhere. He need to go back to Golden State. That would be crazy. If he went back to Golden State, bro, NBA Twitter would break. It'd be hard. Instead of getting Paul George, it should go after KD. <laughs> We're just gonna keep our team and bring Kevin back. Mm-hmm. Bring Clay back too. Fuck I'm it. Saying, what if what if Paul George left and KD went to the Clippers? <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> now there we go. <laughs> KD to the Clippers. KD to Kawhi the Clippers, KD would bro. be cheating, bro. Trade Paul George. No more for assets KD. over there. Trade Paul George for KD. Yeah. Swap it out. It's just it's an even trade, bro. Man, I mean, then y'all gonna get him off the books soon. Y'all get Paul George off the books. Yeah. Tap into my GM shit real quick, but nah. I I just feel like KD want to do some shit like that. He want to go to a Clipper team where he know we can do this fake rust story. You know what I mean? We rekindling. Then I got Kawhi, shit, and then Jimmy. They be raw, bro. I want KD to go back to the Thunder so bad. 
Man. That they could so use him. Hell yeah. They could use him. They need him for real, for real. But is he ready to play with young guys, though? Or do he want to? I mean. I think he could fuck with that system, bro. Mm-hmm. Now, do he want to go back to live in Oklahoma City? That's a great that's question. A, that's, 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 that's a million dollar question. That should be matter. No, nah, I mean, he probably got so much stuff in OKC, but he probably like... <laughs> but do you want to go back to live in Oklahoma when you have not lived? You was in California, Phoenix, even Brooklyn. That's tough, bro. He nah, probably get some it. fire cities, though. I get it. That's I just crazy. When you later your career, I was like, I wondered if that really mattered. If you want to go somewhere for a year or two. Mm-mm. Tap yeah. in for a little second. Yeah. That'd be hard, though. I KD to the Clippers, man. Fuck it. Hey, man, listen. I'm just hoping to pay for <laughs> yeah, OG and an OB, bro. That's yeah, finesse. Yeah, That's finesse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all ain't talked about them motherfuckers this whole time we've been well, here. I mean, what ain't we need to do. Ain't too much to say? No. We need to Respect. decide what we're going to do. Are we going to play our young talent next year? If, if not, then we need to make a move. Uh, I've been hearing that we're trying to do stuff. I would love to get OG in. That would be elite for us yeah, if we could do that. OG, don't do it. Come on, bro. Tap in. We already tried to trade for you, bro. It's love. We ain't, we ain't tripping off that 35. We got it for you, bro. The Knicks, is, they low buying you, my nigga. We got that bread for you. Pull up. Y'all sad, bro. And you going to get the hoop, too. Y'all sad, bro. That would be a great pickup for y'all, though. That would be elite pickup because if we don't make a move like that in that position, then we're going to be back to where we was last year. Y'all playing next year. But y'all going to have a Drake year next year. What that mean? Right, not, gonna not be, this one. Y'all gonna be quiet. <laughs> nah, we straight. Oh, I want that. Y'all gonna be quiet. Y'all gonna be quiet. <laughs> Next year it's quiet for the place. <laughs> it's so nah, we good. It's so dead. Nah, we good. <laughs> we straight. We're gonna be a playoff team next year. If we don't make no moves, I'm saying we'll probably be the top six. We're gonna be a second quiet. round. No, nah, man. Shit. We're gonna be where we're gonna be. We need to decide for real if we're gonna either let our like if Jared Walker, like he spent the lottery pick on him. Give him a chance to fucking play. Then why you want OG? Because he is cold, and we can have both of them. Yeah, I've been Somebody killing niggas' play. careers. We bro. can have both of them. We can have it. We play 10 people anyway, like we a fucking college team. He going to get a chance to play. But if you can get a wing like OG, don't pass on that. Um, Benedict Mather, we're going to see how he heals and what they trying to do for him scoring-wise. We Leave, just have to man. commit to um, – Leave. They've been trying to get you out of here, bro. <clears throat> I am not trying to get him out of here, man. Back and forth. Buddy. Buddy was the one that had to back go. Back and forth. <laughs> this nigga over here teetering with the motherfucking roster. Get out of there, Ben. I've been nothing but right. Y'all had a bullshit year. run this playoff. You, know what I mean? you got to celebrate for an extended amount of time. Shout out to <laughs> you. But fuck that Pacers jersey. Hey, bro. man. When Go I see, fever. When I see, be careful. When I seen Mikael Bridges <laughs> to the Knicks last night, I said, man, what the fuck? I can't enjoy shit. <laughs> it's we, over, we bro. We OG now, nigga. Get it done. It's over, bro. Nova Knicks is hard. Y'all play the Knicks this year? Ass whooping. For we sure. can bet every game. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Even if we do, there's nothing that hurts more than the motherfuckers getting beat game seven at the crib. I don't care. They but not they, like us. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. And he's gonna be back next year. Um, everybody will be healthy. Um, I've seen if he doesn't go back to the Knicks, I've seen Philly trying to get OG and OB. I think that's a good look mm-hmm. for them too. Philly try to get. I think they're trying to get Brandon Ingram too. I'm just excited to see how this shit all pan out. Um, that's another team. That'd I think be a another, great pickup for them. Brandon Ingram and that team with Tyrese and it be they would be very good. I mean, I think even Paul George and that team would still be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Some, they said Paul ain't leaving out west though. And I don't play the rumor, sir. Yeah. That podcast is out west. He's not leaving. Jackie ain't moving to the East Coast. Who? Jackie ain't moving to the East Coast. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that nigga said. <laughs> you out of pocket. Before we get out of here, uh, JJ Reddick finally got announced. We've been knowing it's going to happen. They drug it out for as long as they could. Um, sure, they came out and said, yeah, the new Lakers head coach called me the N-word at Duke. And his team got on that so quick and said, no, that did not fucking happen. Man. And that shit is crazy as fuck, bro. Girl, shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> I he hate probably, hoes. He probably was like, watch out, my nigga. <laughs> we not, JJ. We not going to do that to you. <laughs> probably like, what's up, my nigga? <laughs> well, y'all ever seen with uh, them boom docs where he was like, yo, pass me my pencil, my nigga. <laughs> How's that nigga bar? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JJ, right? Here. Somebody in the comments, JJ. No, shout out to JJ. Somebody in the comments was just like, "Have y'all ever seen JJ Ray at a rap concert?" <laughs> yes, he goes to plenty. Hell, no. he goes to the barbecues. <laughs> oh, don't start that. Yeah, shit. JJ ready to do it for Boondocks. JJ played in Milwaukee. <laughs> JJ's been to a black barbecue for sure. 
Nah, man. Uh, get black off barbecue that, in man. Milwaukee is crazy. But why sure. you just want to tell that story all of a sudden, bro? Yeah, bro I that. know. It'd be I crazy. Hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Laker fans get on my nerves, but I'll be understanding some of y'all. Side, y'all feel like y'all be getting sabotaged because I'll be seeing some of these trades where LA will offer the world, hey, but like you have LeBron James, no, we're not trading you shit, and then people walk for pennies. I feel it. This is one of Miss I was like, that's crazy that she said that right now. Lakers gonna have a good year next year. I think the Lakers are going to be just fine. Are they gonna draft Bronny? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. They drafting Bronny. He said he want to hear his name called. His name will be called by the Lakers. It's Sixty picks, so fuck it. <laughs> I think the worst thing about it is them splitting up the first, these days of the draft. Why? Why are you doing the second round of draft at 4 p.m., bro? Yeah, that's crazy. Let everybody have that moment, man. I think it's a bigger moment for everybody involved. Even if you are a second round pick, I mean, you still getting to live your dreams for the NBA. That should do it all one day. I still stand on what I say. I think he's going to be a great NBA player. He ain't right. going to be like spectacular, maybe, but I think he's going to have a solid, solid career in the league, bro. Yeah, I think he'll have a nice. <laughs> Six, seven, eight year career. He's an NBA talent, bro. He deserves a chance. I don't care if I feel a way about nepotism, so what? Even if it is, too bad. Yeah, it's He's clearly good enough to play. But yeah. congratulations to all these young men that's about to get their name called tonight. Hey, man, shout out to everybody about to change our family life. Yeah. The lineage is be here and say shout out to all that shit. It don't matter what anybody talking about, how they feel about you. Niggas is signing deals tonight and getting paid, and we getting more young black millionaires, and that's fire as fuck to me. That's great. That moment is a little different, though. I ain't gonna lie. That was the first time I cried, like, as an adult. And you been through a lot of shit, boy, growing up, so that yeah. made you cry. Woo! Yeah, I did, but <laughs> shit. That was, like, the first time, like, you know, you don't cry. I ain't cried, like, when I was, like, 15, I might have cried about some shit. I think my grandma died, but other than that, I ain't really cry. Yeah. When I was 20, I was about to turn 21. Yeah, I just turned 21, I think. I was crying like a mug. Damn. That shirt was so, hey, uh, so you, nervous. Oh, you were sweating? What? I thought Dang. you talking about from you crying. I'm like, damn, I'm soft ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck you. Nah, I did <laughs> cry. I always cry because my mama was crying. I was yeah. hiding. And then you see your mama cry. Like, <clears throat> nah, that's a raw moment, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's like, damn, why you crying? She like, your dream came true. I'm like, oh, shit. Here come the tears. Yeah. Nah, that's tight. Hey, damn, that's, that's crazy. My pops was at. Huh? My pops called me like, Congratulations, boy. Damn, what was Pops at the gym? <laughs> Dallas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My little brother at AAU tournament. Uh, okay. I said, I couldn't miss one tournament. This changed our fucking life. Uh, Mook. Mook was the one. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, I your tournament. Man, I'm Mookie like, was the child prodigy. <laughs> I'm like, y'all serious, bro? <laughs> niggas said run a slay on. Yeah, this niggas had a tournament. <laughs> you going to live here? That we, we had speech this week. Yeah, they <laughs> called me. Hey, congratulations, boy. Hell no. Said, this is crazy. Shout out to Pops. Man, that's crazy. Like you said, just that moment. Like, I didn't even think about it from that level, too. Like, fuck the money. Like, you accomplish your dream. Niggas don't do that. Yeah. And on top of that, like you said, you're in a situation now that everybody can be impacted by that for the better. That's fire. Yeah. And that's why I be hating when, like, we be having these, like, sad-ass draft moments. They bring out the worst traumas and shit during yeah, draft yeah. night. On the end. No, celebrate, bro. These people accomplishing their dreams. Do not bring up the worst moment in their life for fucking content purposes. Yeah, the that, worst the shit. Brandon Miller last year, I ain't like that. Bro. bro, I hated that shit, bro. What's the first thing you wanted to buy? First thing I wanted to buy, I wouldn't. I didn't want to buy nothing. But I had seen that... Uh, Futuristic love video, and I seen uh, what's happening with sub video, and they had them challengers. Mm-hmm. I was like, them motherfuckers is hard. Yeah. And my mom was like, you can get one of them. She's like, they only like 50K. I'm like, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch this, guys. <laughs> I ordered that motherfucker so fast. It was yeah. out of there. Nah, that's tough. Yeah, I wanted that bad. But other than that, I ain't really want nothing. Like, I ain't, it wasn't realistic to me. Like, moving into a house and shit like that, I was like, damn. Yeah. I'm about to have my own place. I ain't know what to think. Living on your own for real, for Yeah, real. I'm like, what? Yeah, bro. And like you said, you went from living in an apartment dorm to a a, a place that people ain't going to get in their lifetime. So that's yeah. got to be a hell of a transition. You ain't even had no starter kit. Nah, I didn't know what to do, bro. I'm living in a three-level townhouse. You like, nigga, I ain't, I shared a room with my little brother for a long ass time. You know what yeah, I'm man. like, oh, shit. And then the dorm room was, Big in the <coughs> closet. So you like, shit, I got all this. I got a couch in my bedroom. <laughs> I was wild. I was just mad at you that you travel with your clothes to Atlanta. 
Let you out here. You ain't even go shopping. But nigga, fuck, I was supposed to bring them. Nigga, I had nigga, you should have left them big ass pants and polos, nigga, that. Man. I ain't had no money. Nigga. That's your nap outfit, nigga. I ain't had no money, man. I broke, I broke everything I had. That nigga moved for real. All them picnic shirts. Nigga. The short sleeve polo shirts? Picnic. It was the thing, boy. Bro, I broke no, all of them. The short sleeve polo shirts was the thing, boy, with the, with the Levi's. Mike, see how much some Sperry's is. We can get out of here. Mike, see how much some brown Sperry's is. Is, bro, Man, let them go. Bro. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know why you put them out. They died at Wake Forest at the beer pong <laughs> oh, table. They won 10. They won 10 now? <laughs> yeah, quit Inflation eight. is a motherfucker. That was $79.99. Treat my shit like gold jewelry. 110 is crazy. Damn, for the OG ones, I'm buying them. Ugh, them mugs is trash. Yeah, that's nasty. No, I get some squares rock on the boat. Yeah. When you used to go to Wake Forest, bro, that's all you seen. Spurs. Oh, and there was a point where people wasn't wearing elite socks with them. Like, yes, bro. They out of pocket. Spurs. I ain't never reached that level. <laughs> I wait for it. All you seen was Spurs and dad hats. Yeah. And then in the wintertime, I used to go fuck with them by IU, nigga. That was, it was leggings and Uggs. That's all you gonna ever see at college. Leggings and Uggs. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. There was heat. Yeah. It was fire, bro. Shout out to the hoodie and Uggs. Wow. One ten. One ten. Yeah. If you, whoever's keeping Spurs float, be fun. Yeah. I What's mean, the wildest, like, in your college moment? What was, like, the wildest? Like, I ain't drinking college. I ain't drink till I turned 22. But, like, I used to see people drink Everclear. And I used to be, like, they used to just be doing some, like, some terrible things. Yeah, Everclear, Kamchatka, UV. Hey. The hoes loved all the colors UVs. The little pints. Oh, little, that, that motherfucking blue Two for five. Here. Two for five. Hey, remember A to Z when we had that 99 bananas? Yes, 99 bananas. The Love worst that. alcohol we ever had in our life. For sure. I watched a person Great night. drink Everclear, bro. No lie. I don't remember her name, but anybody that was in Wake Forest at the college, or at Collins dorm room, they know what I'm talking about. She drunk Everclear, opened up the elevator. The elevator shaft was down at the bottom, and she walked out. Oh <laughs> shit! Is she still here with us? <laughs> she got. She woke. They like, got her. She was fucked up. Damn. That nigga, uh, she got expelled for sure. Cause you, you're not finna kill yourself on my campus. <laughs> yeah, you're not about to fuck up this insurance policy. Yeah, Matter of sure. fact, the elevator shaft was up. She opened it up, and so she fell to the first floor. Boom! We like, oh! They everybody ran to the first floor, got her. And yeah, they called it. Like, she was yeah, fucked. Ever clear? What floor were y'all? Third. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. But niggas eventually graduated up, though. Shit. By the time you 2021, you Great Goose, Crown, Hen. Uh, we used to drink Belvedere, too. Oh, I was a Belvedere king. Shout out to my boy, my boy Mike Bibby. Uh, that was the... The Belvedere Crown. When you wanted to be off, because I felt like everybody, all the niggas drunk Great Goose, but the Belvy was for the more exclusive. Damn near the same bottle. First I ever drank before. was Belvedere. For real? Yeah. What's crazy is it's the same quality of vodka. It's yeah, just different bottles. They're different. both harsh as shit. Yeah. yeah, that's the first thing I ever drank. He gave me $5,000. Damn. That's when Jeezy's song was popping, too. Yeah. And motherfucker Grey Goose joint. He said, I was like, I ain't never drank, Shout man. Shout out to Star. I ain't never drank. He's like, you gonna drink tonight? I'll never forget. He's at Live Night Club. I said, well, nah, man, I don't drink. Need $5,000? So I drink tonight? <laughs> So all you gotta do is take this cup and this cup. It was cranberry in one, the vodka in the other one. He was like, "That's all you gotta do. It. Just finish it." Man, I was in the bathroom throwing up everywhere. Nah, right, bro, cause you probably you was you was a real rookie. Yeah, I ain't never drank before. You gotta take nigga the the cranberry, tap it, then you guzzle the goose, swish it around. Swallow it, pause. It didn't matter how it went, going, bro. bro. It was, I had never drank, I ain't drink a wine cooler before. I never yeah. had nothing. The first alcohol I ever had in my life was Everclear. <laughs> what? Everclear and Dean's Blue Drink. Eyes were fresh. Man, bro, humble beginnings. Uh, Ghetto beginnings. Yeah, I had some good shit my first time. My first drink was Grey Goose. Me and my niggas went to a, uh, uh, what do you call it? What, the first of the year, New Year's party. And it was a time, bro. It was a time. Damn. Grey Goose and papaya juice. That was my shit. Well, I was so scared, bro. <laughs> I got home. We got back to the room. I threw up, whatever. I woke up. I was cool, though. But I was so scared. Like, Was it in season? Yeah. 
I'll I wasn't playing. I ain't playing. I mean, but I, I woke up. I was cool. I wasn't like sick or nothing. Yeah, you like see this ain't so bad after all. No, nah, I was like I ain't doing that no more. And then I ain't do it. And then I came back home, and that's when we had hypnotic and shit. Hypnotic <laughs> we going, and Henny. We was going mm-hmm. to people cribs, and I had hypnotic. Incredible and, hope. And I was doing all the time. I was I was seasoned by then. Yeah, bro, that liquor turned you into a demon, bro. Nah, I still don't like. It. Oh, that's cool. Shout out to Henny though. Respect. Shout out to Hennessy. We love Hennessy. Be here to tell people they can grab some merch. Shopclub520.com, baby. We out. Yes, sir. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. We'll be back next time.